Hey, this is a tutorial on how to solve a 3x3 three three using the JT method. Me and my friend Tyler, we call it the JT method. You know, Josh, Tyler, I'm Josh, he's Tyler, JT. Well, I have found a way to get the first two layers really, really fast. And he found a way to get the last two layer, the last layer even faster. So I'm going to go ahead and scramble my cube. And let's get started. Oh, wait, before I start, you need to already know how to solve a 3x3 three three using the beginner's method. Because there's one, there's a couple algorithms from there that you need to know. So I think that's scrambled enough. Okay. First, you need to get the cross. So go ahead and establish the cross. Let me, let me do that real fast. Yeah, it's just like the beginner's method. You get the cross, and once you get the okay, you get the cross. And now you, what you want to do is see how you have a one uh, block right here a like the white white and then the green green lined up like that to form one side of the cross now you need to get the this pair lined up so the green and orange so let me go ahead and find that and here it is and you just need to put it there without messing anything up so you have this kind of U right here and you need to make a three quarters of a cross, a three quarters of a cross, and then a half a cross, and then a half a cross going the other way. Let me go ahead and show you an example. Like this. Okay. So you have a half a cross, three quarters, three quarters, and a half going the other way. So you have this open edge right here. It's also similar to the method called the keyhole. So you just want to make an open edge. And you want to use this open edge to put in all of the corners, like this white, orange, and yellow needs to go here. And you just insert it, and it goes up there, then rotate to the next one, which is there, insert it, next one, and you just want to insert it. And then the last one, you just, you just use that open edge to insert the entire top layer, and that's... That took, I don't know, but if you're speed cubing, it won't take very long. And now we move on to the second layer, and from the original, from the beginner's method, you use um, up inverted, left inverted, up left, up front, up inverted, front inverted, I think, to put it down to the left, and the inverse, or the, the mirrored algorithm to put it over to the right. Well, you have to know that, just because this last edge will not get filled in, so. And you just go ahead and fill it in, and that's speed solving okay for the last layer you're either gonna have an L an L a line a line like that or a cross a, a cross like that well what you need to get to is the cross so let me go ahead and get to the line oh, yeah just give me a sec. Okay. And you might have this dot sometimes. So if you have the dot, you just want to do front, right, up, right, inverted, up, inverted, front, inverted. Also noted in the beginner's method to get this L. Well, in the beginner's method, what you want to do is rotate the L to the top left and do that algorithm twice to get the cross. But there's a shorter way. If you put it in the bottom right and do um, little f, which is both the front, the first layer, and the middle layer over once, and then do right, up, right inverted up inverted and then little f which is the middle and the front inverted that'll give you the whole cross let me do that again just for those who didn't catch it okay okay from the dot you have the l and then double front i'm just going to call it double front right up right inverted up inverted and then double front inverted and that brings you straight to the cross 
Now, when you're solving the last layer, you want to find two that are in the right place. And if they're directly across from each other, like this, like I have this orange one and yellow and this red and yellow one, yellow one, and they're directly across from each other, put one towards you and one in the back and do right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right inverted, which is also the same algorithm in the beginner's method. Then you get two, put one in the back, one on the right, then do the same algorithm, and you get a cross, or you get all of the edges in the right place, along with one of, I don't know how many symbols, but one of the symbols on top. If you have this symbol, what you want to do is put the, the two in the back, the, this, the big, the six, two by three, the two by three box in the back, and do, um, up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left. And that gives you the cross, and you just wanted to do it. Up, uh, do it again. Up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left. And that gives you the fish. So turn the fish to the bottom left, right here, and do, no, bottom right. Excuse me, and do the same algorithm. Up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left. And you'll either have to do that once or twice to get to the full side, with all of the edges in the wrong, all the corners in the wrong place. If you have the fish, you want to put it in the bottom right and do up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left. And you'll get the fish again, and then just do the algorithm one more time. Up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left. To get to this. Yeah. If you have this symbol that looks like uh, a donut with two bites taken out of it, sort of, I guess. You want to put it like this, where one side's like that and one side's like that, and this corner's down here, and the two empty spots are in the top left and the bottom right, and you do up, right, up, and right, left, the same algorithm as before. You get the cross, and you want to turn the cube once this way and do it again. And then that, no, wait, no, I think I've had to turn it to the other way. Yeah, turn it, uh, that gives you the fish, yeah. So I was right. Yeah, you get that, put it like that, and then do it, you'll come, and then turn it and do it again yeah then it should give you back to the fish so you get the fish put it on the bottom right and do it and then do it again and you should end up with this okay with solving the last layer after all of the corners are orientated the right way you need to put them in the correct slot if you have three out of the wrong out of their slot and one in, you need to put the one in the top, the top right, and find one that's unsolved. Then do right inverted, down inverted, right, and that puts it down here. And where does that need to go? That's the blue, yellow, and red, and that needs to go with the blue, yellow, and red. So, put bring it over here, and then do right inverted down right, and that put it up there. And where does this corner need to go? The green, red, and yellow needs to go right here, so right inverted, down inverted, right. And do the same thing, yellow, orange, green. Put it here, and right inverted, down, right. And that should solve your cube. Okay, the next case that you're going to have is when all four of the corners are not in the right place, where these two corners are swapped with each other, and these two corners are swapped with each other. Now, you're going to be doing the exact same thing that I showed you when you have three in the wrong place. Right inverted, down inverted, right. Okay? Puts it down here. Now, this corner needs to go here. Right? So, you do right inverted, down right. And it puts it there. Now, when you go to put this corner back up here, right inverted, down inverted, right, it messes up your cube. And that's bad. So, when inserting a corner into a dud corner, that's what I'm going to call it, a corner without an orange piece, a corner with nothing in it, a dud. You need to insert this into another one. Like, I'll just insert it here. And now I can insert this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now this one, where does this one need to go? Right here. I already filled in this slot with the previous one that needs to go here. So you just want to insert it, and then insert the very last corner into the very last edge. And that should solve your cube. If you